Hi everybody. Yeah, welcome to our Psych 218 Analysis of Behavioral Data or Introduction to Statistics. So as you can see here, this is our Canvas course and everything you see is right here. Uh, we got a big Zoom logo for our Zoom classrooms and then you can see a rainbow of colors. So we got the syllabus, your modules, the announcements, discussions, grades, my AC, and you can log into that, and the Writing and Learning Center, uh, where you can get help with this course, including math and statistics. There are also resources that you can use in our modules to also get writing help and learning help as well. In this course, we are on Monday 5 to 9 or 8.50 p.m. So when you're watching this, it is going to be the start of class and yeah follow the class schedule click on the zoom logo and follow the instructions and then you'll be able to join the virtual classroom so I'm just going to pretend and you can join in from the browser I'll click cancel for this one and you would join in enter your name I'm just going to make up a name here if you get the joke haha if not that's okay I'm not a robot and I'll join in. The meeting hasn't started yet. Uh, when we start the meeting, which is during class time, it will start and then you can join in. As we go through the class, we will introduce ourselves to further resources in the modules as well as announcements. So every week we'll see the announcements here so this being week one you can see ah welcome to the course what's this course about how you can get help and another announcements will be about free textbooks that you can access and if you view the announcements here are the links to our free textbooks here's one for example that we will use and refer to it has the same concepts and skills that we will learn for this class and you can refer to those in the syllabus as well so yeah, you can download these textbooks and it's very important that you use pen and paper and practice the skills learned here. So it is a good idea to use a textbook for this class and learn and practice the questions there. There are other textbooks that you can use and follow those as well. Uh, time does not allow me to go through these, but these links do work and you can open these up and this one is a textbook for our previous classes. If you've taken Psych 101 and 102 before, this is a free textbook that you can use, at least for this year. This one is another one. You may have seen this for your research methods, Psych 217 in Alexander College. This also works for, there are things here that you can learn for statistics. So for example, there's one here that's got stuff on statistical analysis and statistical concepts. The reason we have these different links is that we want you to work with multiple resources so that the more you work on the course with different resources, the more these concepts and skills are going to stick. You will need to put in time, maybe about 10 to 20 hours a week in this course, especially if your math is not your strong point and especially if the things we talk about in terms of statistics and research is something that you're not familiar with. You will have a stronger grasp of the material if you have taken 217 and both Psych 101 and 102. Otherwise, if you just meet the minimum prerequisites of 98 English 098 and 101 uh, your, and your math is not up to speed, then you will need to spend more time. So the syllabus is there. You can access that on the Canvas course shell and you can read the requirements here. There is a detailed version of the syllabus that you can access and download. You can do that. And I'm going to change that to a Google Drive link in the next few minutes, but it's there and you can download it right now anyway. Uh, my email is right here, a.chan, C-H-A-N, at alexandercollege.ca.ca, not .com. 
you will be sending questions and answers to the email address directly. And if you send it to the wrong one and it's past the deadline, I will not accept late submissions, even if you send it to some email, but it's not the right one. So I'll tell you this now and I'll tell you this uh, regularly just to remind you. We have five tests in the course and we have eight practice quizzes along with a final exam that covers all chapters, which means it's cumulative. And there's a course summary that shows you what we'll cover and when we'll cover them in the next nine weeks. This is a nine week course. And so we'll be covering 12 chapters in nine weeks. Uh, be advised and uh, warned right now. This course is faster because it's nine weeks instead of 14 weeks and it's front loaded, which means the first four chapters will cover in the first week of class, actually the first class. So if you feel overwhelmed, um, be advised and warned now that you're going to need to spend more time. And if you have any questions, you can always email me at a.chanaalexandercollege.ca. And what I'm going to show you is some resources that will help you in the modules. So here we have the syllabus, class rules, college policies, and so on. And we're going to... And we have several resources that you can use. So we have statistics resources, which includes formulas and tables, which we'll use throughout the term. And as you can see here, if you scroll down the modules, in week one, we are covering chapters one, two, three, and four. Again, if you are familiar with Psych 217 research methods, that would help you understand chapter one fairly well. If you have already done mathematics, up to math 12 and beyond frequency distributions central tendency and variability would be fairly easy to understand especially if you have already done things like the mean for average median the middle score and mode for the most common score as well as exponents for sum of squares and square roots for standard deviations so you can scroll down here and see what we cover in each week as you can see, we cover 12 chapters and we go through the first seven to eight chapters up to chapter 10, actually fairly quickly up to week six. And we're already done 10 chapters. Uh, the reason being is that chapters 12 and 14 are extensive and much harder. So we are going to spend one week on each of those. So again, check your syllabus, check your modules. They're there to help you figure out how you will budget your time. And in terms of time budgeting, I'm going to give you a quick math lesson right now. Uh, if you already know it, great. If you don't, that's okay. You're going to learn something right now. All we're going to show you is how many hours in a week there are. And if you already know the answer, great. You're already one step ahead. So take a moment and think, how many hours are there in a week? I'm going to use a pen here. I'll use a rainbow color one. So how many hours are there in a week? And it's fairly simple. You've got seven days in a week times 24 hours per day. So if you do the math, that's 168 hours in a week. Once you start subtracting your hours with the things you have to do, maybe, you know, sleep, and eat and school for your other classes and you don't have to go to class anymore so you can subtract certain times like traveling from Surrey to Burnaby campus for example which could be one and a half hours there one and a half hours back um, and that's a, on a no traffic day so anyway once you start subtracting the hours you might you know realize you don't actually have that many hours left especially if you happen to work as well um, which will be good right now. But anyway, figure out how many hours you have left and then you can figure out what you need to plan for this course. Um, in short, you're going to need about anywhere from 10 hours a week to 20 hours per week. If you really, really want to um, do well in this class. Uh, the 10 to 20 hours includes reading, 
practicing, doing the questions and reviewing, and these are math questions. Statistics is math and research. So don't forget, you need to do those questions and practice. And we do have those questions in our textbooks and in our worksheets that you'll get later on. As you can uh, gather as well, we have eight practice quizzes and five tests plus the final exam. So if you go to our quizzes and practice quizzes and tests, you can see eight practice quizzes and five tests plus an online final exam. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is a basic algebra test that's going to be right at the beginning of class. So if you're watching this, um, you have been notified and I would have reminded you that we're going to start with a test right away. And every class, actually, we start with some kind of practice quiz or test right away. So do check the assignment quizzes and see when the due dates and times for the quizzes are. Your practice quizzes are 45 minutes long and your tests are two hours long. So they start right at the start of class. So, and you will need an access code for these. So make sure you stay on top of your schedule and start class on time. So that's it. Welcome to Psych 218. And my name's Angus. You can find my bio and short introduction in the announcements. I have a whole bunch of these announcements already and we've prepared at least one or two announcements per week. And so if you go to the first announcement, you'll see the course, you'll see who I am and you'll see my contact information. Okay. So that's it. Welcome to Psych 218 one more time. And I look forward to working with you and we will spend the ni next nine weeks together in a fairly intensive or very intensive statistics course.